Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast in which you partake of Christ, his sufferings are remembered, our minds are filled with his grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which is to be ours. You gave them bread from heaven to be their food, and this bread contain all goodness. Let us pray, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, you give us the Eucharist as the memory of your suffering and death. May our worship of the sacraments of your body and blood Help us to experience the salvation you want for us, and the peace of the kingdom we will live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Queen of heaven, rejoice, alleluia. For he whom you did merit to bear, alleluia. Has risen as he said, alleluia. Pray for us to God, alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, alleluia. For the Lord is fully risen, alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who, who gave joy, joy to, to the, the world to the resurrection of your, of your Son, our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, grant we beseech, beseech you that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate the glorious mysteries. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hal be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
the second glorious mystery, the Ascension. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For daily bread, and forgive us our trespass and evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth glorious mystery, 
the Assumption of Mary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth glorious mystery, the coronation of Mary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We fly to your patronage, O Holy, o Holy Mother, Mother of God, God despise not our petitions, our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers, O ever-glorious and blessed Virgin, Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawak, pray for us, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray, O God, whose, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary, of the, of the Blessed, Blessed Virgin Mary, Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain, obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him with a splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, you entrusted, entrusted our Savior to the, to the care, care of Saint, Saint Joseph. Joseph. By, By the, the help, help of his prayers, May your church continue to serve our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee prayer for the golden anniversary of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, our Father and Creator, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love we strive to incarnate. O God, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works, in the consecration of our lives to holy preaching, in speaking only to you and about you, let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all in the gospel we share with all peoples. By your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, Saint Dominic, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated for a while. <clears throat> Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is Wednesday, in the sixth week of Easter. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church, integrated with the, with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. The Lord is risen, alleluia. The Lord, the Lord is risen, alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord, 
and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God and we are his people, the flock his shepherds. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Today listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. The waters saw you, O God. You led your people through the sea. Alleluia. I cried aloud to God, cry aloud to God that he may hear me. In the day of my distress, I sought the Lord. My hands were raised at night without ceasing. My soul refused to be consoled. I remembered my God and I groaned. I pondered and my spirit fainted. You withheld sleep from my eyes. I was troubled, I could not speak. I thought of the days of a long ago, and remember the years long past. At night I mused within my heart, I pondered and my spirit questioned. Will the Lord reject us forever? Will He show us His favor no more? Has His love vanished forever? Has His promise come to an end? Does God forget His mercy, or in anger withhold compassion? I said, this is what causes my grief. That, they, that the way of the Most High has changed. I remember the deeds of the Lord. I remember your wonders of old. I muse on all your works and ponder your mighty deeds. Your ways, O God, are holy. What God is great is our God. You are the God who works wonders. You showed your power among the peoples. Your strong arm redeemed your people, the sons of Jacob and Joseph. The waters saw you, O God, the waters saw you and trembled. The depths were moved with terror. The clouds poured down rain. The sky sent forth their voice. Your arrows flashed to and fro. Your thunder rolled round the sky. Your flashes light set up the world. The earth was moved and trembled. When your way led through the sea, your path through the mighty waters, and no one saw your footprints. You guided your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord puts to death and raises to life. Alleluia. My heart exalts in the Lord. My horn is exalted in my God. I have swallowed up my enemies. I rejoice in my victory. There is no holy one like the Lord. There is no rock like our God. Speak boastfully no longer. Know that arrogance is you from your mouths. For on all knowing God is the Lord, a God who judges deeds. The bows of the mighty are broken, while the tottering gird on strength. The well fed hire themselves out for bread, while the hungry batten on spoil. The barren wife bears seven sons, while the mother of many languishes. The Lord puts to death and gives life. He casts down to the netherworld. He raises up again. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He humbles. He also exalts. He raises the needy from the dust. From the ash heap, he lifts up the poor to seat them with nobles and make a glorious throne their heritage. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and he has set the world upon them. He will guard the footstep of his faithful ones. But the wicked shall perish in the darkness. For not by strength does man prevail, 
the Lord's foes shall be shattered. The Most High in heaven thunders. The Lord judges the ends of the earth. Now may he give strength to his king and exalt the horn of his anointed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A light has dawned for the just. Joy has come to the upright of heart. Alleluia. The Lord is King, let earth rejoice. Let all the coastlands be glad. Cloud and darkness are His raiment. His throne, justice, and right. A fire prepares His path. It burns up His foes on every side. His lightnings light up the world. The earth trembles at the sight. The mountains smell like wax before the Lord of all the earth. The skies proclaim His justice. All people see His glory. Let those who serve idols be ashamed, those who boast of their faultless gods. All you spirits worship Him. Zion hears and is glad. The people of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O Lord. For you indeed are the Lord most high above all the earth, exalted far above all spirits. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He guards the souls of his saints. He sets them free from the wicked. Light shines forth for the just, and joy for the uprights of heart. Rejoice you just in the Lord. Give glory to his holy name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O, o Lord, that as we celebrate in mystery the solemnities of your son's resurrection, so too we may be worthy to rejoice at his coming with all the saints. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Paul's escorts had taken him to Athens, they came away with instructions for Silas and Timothy to join him as soon as possible. Then Paul stood up at the Areopagus and said, You Athenians, I see that in every respect you are very religious. For as I walk around looking carefully at your shrines, I even discovered an altar inscribed to an unknown God. What therefore you unknowingly worship, I proclaim to you. The God who made the world and all that is in it, the Lord of heaven and earth, does not dwell in sanctuaries made by human hands, nor is he served by human hands because he needs anything. Rather, it is he who gives to everyone life and breath and everything. He made from one the whole human race to dwell on the entire surface of the earth. And he fixed the ordered seasons and the boundaries of their regions so that people might seek God, even perhaps grope for him and find him, though indeed he is not far from any one of us. For in him we live and move and have our being, as even some of your poets have said, for we too are his offspring. Since, therefore, we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the divinity is like an image fashioned from gold, silver, or stone by human art and imagination. God has overlooked the times of ignorance, but now He demands that all people everywhere re repent because He has established a day on which he will judge the world with justice through a man he has appointed and he has provided confirmation for all by raising him from the dead. When they heard about the resurrection of the dead, some began to scoff, 
but others said, We should like to hear you on this some other time. And so Paul left them, but some did join them and became believers. Among them were Dionysius, a member of the court of the Areopagus, a woman named Damaris, and others with them. After this, he left Athens and went to Corinth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all you his angels. Praise him, all you his hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Let the kings of the earth and all peoples, the princes and all the judges of the earth, young men too, and maidens, old men and boys, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His majesty is above earth and heaven. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. He has lifted up the horn of his people. Be this his praise from all his faithful ones, from the children of Israel, the people close to him. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Please stand. Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the Spirit of truth, he will guide you all the truth. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears and will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine. For this reason, I told you that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat at welcome po sa Minor Basilica ng Our Lady of the Rosary of Malawag. Good morning po. Pakibati naman ang katabi ng good morning. Yan, pakigising, baka matutulog. Tayong mga katoliko, sanay na sanay tayong matulog sa misa. Kaya maganda siguro next time maglagay na kami dito ng folding bed. Kidding aside, Today, we are reminded of the truth of the word veritas, truth. Sa aming mga Dominican, medyo uh, perhaps familiar kami dito sapagkat ito yung aming motto, veritas, truth. After all, the very foundation of any relationship is the truth. Tandaan po natin yan. Ang pundasyon ng kahit anumang relasyon ay katotohanan. Pansin ninyo, na kapag kayo po'y nagmahal, you always tell the truth. 
Kasi mahirap yung mahal ka ng tao sa mga bagay-bagay na pinapakita mo lang sa kanila. Di ba? Kung if you want to please everyone, so mag suot ka ng maskara, then they will love your mask, not you. Kaya nyo mahirap sapagkat sa panahon ngayon na uso ang fake news, uso ang pagkukunwari, uso ang maraming bagay na pagbabalat kayo, the truth is the victim. Kaya nga, di ba, kahit sa formation, may mga seminarista po kami dito ngayon, isa sa mga requirement eh, magpakatotoo ka. Be truthful. Because the very foundation of any relationship and even in vocation in life is all about truth. But there are certain truth in life, sabi nga, na hindi mo agad sinasabi ng buong buo. Kaya si Kristo nga, nung nagpapaalam na, yung ibang hilong binasa natin ngayon, eh, ito po ay eh, isa sa mga goodbye discourses ni Kristo. Siya po ay nagpapaalam na sa kanyang mga apostles. Parang sinasabi nga niya, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. Because sometimes in life, the truth is revealed to us moment by moment and when the time that we are prepared for it. Hindi sa lahat na pagkataon, sasabihin mo agad ang totoo. Slowly. Kahit nga ang Diyos, kung titignan natin, paano siya nagpapaalam? Slowly. Halimbawa lang, kapag ka ang anak ninyo ay nagtanong, Sinasabi, sasabihin ng anak, ni, anak ninyo, mga bata, di ba minsan, isa sa pinakamahirap sagutin yung tanong ng bata kasi kung minsan, very innocent and it's difficult to answer them. Alimbawa, Mami, Daddy, paano po ba kami ginawa? Alam naman natin paano sila nang ginawa para mo explain yon in a very simple terms. Sasabihin mo na lang, anak, Alam nga naman, i-describe mo yung reproductive system, buong-buo at paano nyo ginawa. May sasabihin mo lang, anak, maintindihan mo rin. Bakit? It is revealed to them, moment by moment. Kaya nga, kahit nga yung pagtanggap ng sakramento ng simbahan, slowly din. Hindi binibagay agad lahat. Slowly. Even the graces of God, it is given to us slowly. The truth about God's grace, it is given to us moment by moment. It is given to us when we are prepared. Halimbawa, sa, sa binyag, baptism is a, is a shared, actually kung titinan natin, it is a shared sacrament. Sino po ang una? Sino po mag explain niyan? Mga magulang. Hindi pa ako nakaatin ng binyag sa mga bataan. Ang bata ang sumagot. Itatakwil mo ba si satanas? Hindi sumasabi ng bata, itatakwil ko. Ang bata umiiyak lang. Ah! 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 Ganun lang ang reaksyon ng bata. Kapag binubuusan mo pa, Norman, I baptize you, umiiyak pa. May mga nanay pa, may tradisyon daw sila na kinukurot yung bata para habang binubuusan, umiiyak at mapapaalis ang demonyo. Bakit demonyo ba yung anak nyo? Minsan natatawa ako pagka ganun. Slowly, moment by moment. Kaya nga yung truth, moment by moment ang pag-reveal niyan. In the sacraments, ganun din. Hindi pagbinyag, ilagay na lahat doon. Sasabihin ng nanay, Father, gusto kong maging pare yung anak ko. I-ordain mo na rin. Maraming ma-ordain bigla kasi maraming mga pers gusto magpare yung anak nila. Eh, hindi. The truth about our life is revealed to us moment by moment. Kaya't nga yung revelation about kung ba, may anak kayo na ampun o inampun ninyo o kayo mismo ampun. Di ba, hindi sinasabi agad sa bata. Minsan kasi traumatic. O ano sasabihin mo? 
Kapag kahanda na yung bata na yakapin yung buong katotohanan na siya'y ampun, saka mo sasabihin. Bakit eh, bata pa sabihin mo na agad, nagulat siya yung bata, maglalayas yan. It is revealed to us, moment by moment. Kaya nga si Kristo, sinasabi niya, habang nagpapaalam, I have so much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But don't worry. Oh, sinabi niya, don't worry. Dahil mag-iiwan ako ng espiritu ng katotohanan na siyang magiging guide ninyo kahit saan man kayo magpunta. Ito yung habili ni Kristo that we will embrace the Holy Spirit who will tell us the whole truth about God. Sa totoo lang, yung faith about God, about what happened to the Lord Jesus Christ and to His Father, the truth about it, buo na yan. But our experience as human beings, limited as it may be, even our very own language, it is limited. That is why it is revealed to us moment by moment. Hindi buo sapagkat shocking. Kaya nga kung minsan, kung titinan natin yung Ibanghilong binasa for the past weeks, last week hanggang ngayon, mga pamamaalam ni Kristo, paano sinasabi? Moment by moment, slowly, 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 hanggang sa maintindihan nila. Kaya kung titinan sa buhay natin, ganun din. Kahit nga sa bukas yun eh, Halimbawa, yung mga seminarista namin dito, may matutuloy dyan, merong hindi. Because sometimes, the vocation in life is revealed to them kapag kahandang-handa na sila. Minsan nga, kahit dito nga eh, yung mga ikakasal na dito sa parokya, i-interviewin mo na lahat-lahat, tapos biglang may aatras. Hindi ko alam bakit. Hindi namin alam bakit. Perhaps, they have learned the truth. Kaya kapag tayo po'y sumusunod kay Kristo, ito na, Holy Spirit, iniwan ni Kristo sa atin. At ano ba yung sinasabi na gifts of the Holy Spirit? Pito po ito. But I will just mention two. Wisdom and knowledge. Kaya kapag ikaw po'y nasa sumusunod at merong guidance ng Holy Spirit, you have the knowledge about the truth and you embrace the wisdom of the truth. Kaya nga siguro sa atin, ang requirement sa atin lahat, when we live the faith, ito po, nalaman mo yung katotohanan, you have the wisdom of the truth. Ang tawag dyan, living faith. Ito yung nagkakaroon ka ng conviction about Jesus Christ, about the, the Lord that we follow. And when you follow the Lord, ibig sabihin may conviction ka. And you live it daily in your words and in your works. But more than that, sinasabi ko po sa inyo that living the faith is also about ito po, is also about updating. It's also about deepening our relationship with the Lord. Hindi po ito madali. Kaya nga, we discover many things as we journey through life. Not just about God, but it is also about our very own selves, our experience with the Lord. Sabi ko kanina, when we embrace the truth, mas maganda yung tayo po'y minahal dahil totoo tayo kung sino tayo kaysa naman minahal tayo dahil we pretend other people. But remember this, that the truth about ourselves, our vocation, our mission, most of the times, it is revealed to us moment by moment by the Holy Spirit. As the Lord will always say, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. Just be open to the Holy Spirit so that when that time comes for all of us to embrace the truth, 
we can embrace it with our whole heart. I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. Just be open to the grace of the Holy Spirit. Let us all stand. Our Heavenly Father has not left us orphans. He has sent us His Holy Spirit. Let us make our common prayer in the power of the Spirit of Truth. For every petition we shall answer, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may be zealous in bringing the message of Jesus to all people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who govern and exercise authority may bring peace and justice to nations, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That through our acts of kindness, the despised, the rejected, or unloved in our society may experience God's care in their lives, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and those who suffer may see and feel God's loving presence, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have gone before us in death may be raised to the life of the risen Lord, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, we also pray for our personal intentions, and we also pray for the, for the safety of all those who are traveling today. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, grant that the Holy Spirit may increasingly reveal to us the truth made known by Jesus, who lives with you now and forever. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands to become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands to become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O oh God, by the wonderful exchange effected in this, in this sacrifice, have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead. Grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, for with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers of the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim.
holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them let the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which shall be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullest of charity together with francis our pope socrates our bishop and all the clergy Remember also our brothers and sisters have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please all stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of, of the world. world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please all stand. I have many more things to tell you, but they would be too much for you now. When the Spirit of Truth comes, He will guide you to all truth. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to His people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior born of the house of his servants, David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of all that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare His way, to give His people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I have many more things to tell you, but they will be too much for you now. When the Spirit of Truth comes, He will guide you to all truth. Alleluia. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with the heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God.
we shall have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and afterwards the prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious images and articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. God our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from, from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other just articles and images. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Maraming salamat po and have a nice day. Thank mm -hmm. you.